In this episode, we talk about job hunting through your inner circle so you don't have to ask mom and dad for help. Actually, you're gonna ask them for help. What's up everyone, this is Jake Voorhees and you are watching episode 8 of the 1% Engineer Show. That's right, the good old mom and dad support. I'm sure you know a thing or two about that because only 8 students in the history of the world have survived engineering college without the help of their parents or at least a guardian, but in all seriousness, I'll speak personally here. I would have never made it through Delaware engineering without the love and support of my parents, pushing me to succeed, being there for me financially, emotionally. Yeah, yeah, big all moment, all that mushy stuff. Enough story time, back to the show. When job hunting, many students email random companies expecting a reply when this person has never heard of you. They probably can't even pronounce your name. Everyone on the planet has at least one connection to an engineer, so you never know. Maybe the engineer who knows a person that you know is just sitting on an opportunity waiting to be filled. Or even better, because you're not just some kid off the street, an opportunity can be created for you. Carve your own path. Make your own success. So here's three ideas for contacting your inner circle so you don't have to send emails as cold as absolute zero. One, reach out to family. Yeah, that's right, this is where mom and dad come in. And Uncle Jerry, and your brother's best friend's mom, Sally Sue, the one who knows Obama in episode six. Think outside the box a little. Maybe you know someone connected to the construction industry. For example, for you civil engineers, maybe they know a construction foreman. Maybe they know a machine operator who works for a company who hires engineers. Think outside the box. Give these people ideas so they can help you. Two, high school teachers and principals. High school teachers did not pick up teaching because of the pay. That's right. They love teaching students, they love helping the youth of our society, and they want to help you now. If you're an engineering student in college, you probably had good grades, and they want to see you succeed. They want you to prevail. Particularly your math, science, and maybe even an engineering teacher, they certainly have ties to the industry. Get in touch with them. Ask them for help. Three, any old job employer. Yup that coffee shop you work for in high school or even the summer camp after freshman year, these old employers know you're a good person. They know you're trustworthy. They want to connect you to anyone that they potentially know. So reach out to them and ask. You never know, there could be an engineer in their family and it's an easy connection for them. You have to ask. So as a global summary today, this world is what you make it. Most people are too afraid and shy to reach out to those that they know and ask for help. No one successful in life got to where they are all alone. They had people help them and when people reach a pinnacle in life, they want to give back and help others along the way. Especially if they know you and they know that this connection is going to be fruitful for the person that they know and be positive for you. So the moral to the story is this, ask for nothing and you will receive nothing. So you might as well try. Stay tuned for episode 9 where I give tips on how to crush a job fair. Thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show guys and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% Engineer. Cheers!